What's going on everybody, Respawn Gentleman here. So Dead Island 2 just revealed all the details that you need to know about co-op, so let's get right into it. So first off, we have when does the co-op unlock? So this unlocks actually when you reach Emma's Mansion, who, uh, if you saw the first 11 minutes gameplay, is the lady in the airplane. Uh, it takes you about 20 to 30 minutes to get there, depending on your playstyle. So right at the very beginning, kind of go through the tutorial essentially, and then you jump into it. So next we have cross-gen. So with this one, uh, we know that it's not cross-play at all, at least currently, maybe they may fix that later on in down the road, but um, this means that PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 can play together and Xbox One and Xbox Series consoles can play together. So you will be able to do that. It says how to connect. So the games aren't hosted on servers, you can see, so they do a peer-to-peer -peer model. So it's, it's all based on your internet connection. So you need to make sure the host has good internet or else it's probably gonna run a little bit slow. Um, it says that the, the first player hosts the game and the second third can join them. So due to the game's graphic requirements, it says here that the host must be on either a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series console or a PlayStation 4 Pro or Xbox One X. If you are on just a regular PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One or Xbox One S, then you will not be able to host a game. You'll only be able to join games. Um, I, I get that the graphic requirement kind of makes sense because if you're hosting on one of the older consoles, it's going to be difficult because the the newer gen consoles are going to have to kind of like dumb it down essentially um, to be able to play it. So that that could be an issue if you have Xbox One or PlayStation Four and you don't have like the, the higher versions of those and all your friends have those same exact consoles, well then technically you won't be able to play together because one of you has to have at least a PS4 Pro or higher or an Xbox One X or higher in order to actually host. So I'm really hoping that they fix that down the line that, you know, if, if you're playing on the same version like a regular PlayStation 4, Xbox One, um, that you'll still be able to play with other people on that same console um, iteration because this is going to cause a lot of problems for sure but that's kind of how you get connected with everyone let's get into uh, the progress and achievements so what does it look like for story progress so basically um, any story progress you make in co-op will transfer over to your single player session which is fantastic i love when games do that because um, it means that, yeah, you've progressed the story and, and you've done this with your friends, but now you want to play a little bit by yourself and now you don't have to go back and do those all over again. Um, so it's, I'm really glad they're doing that. However, the downside to this is that you cannot join someone who's ahead of the story from where you are, which is a little bit of a letdown. They, they're kind of saying they don't want you to miss important story beats, you know, leveling up certain items and things like that, which I guess I get makes sense narratively and, and things like that. They, they want you to experience the full game, but this just means that if your friends who are on like an Xbox One, like I say, everybody has an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4, and you know, you're all, let's say one of your friends is, is further along than you are, you literally cannot join them at all. You, It is impossible for you to play multiplayer with them because they're further along in the story. Uh, so I really hope this changes and they can do something um, about this. Like maybe there's an option you can turn on to not track your story progress. I think that would be a good uh, kind of way to combat that, but we'll have to wait and see kind of where this goes from here. Now, if you weren't sure before, I've mentioned this a couple of times, but there's only gonna be three player co-op. So it's not gonna be four players like the previous Dead Island games. It is only three players. Their explanation on the website is that they, through extensive you know, play testing and things, they found that three people gives it just enough uh, combat challenge and having the right amount of zombies and, and stuff like that. Basically, I think it means that four players makes the game either too easy or too chaotic because there's too many things on the screen happening at once. So that it's a little disappointing you can't play with four people total, um, only three people, but hey, it's still gonna be fun regardless. I think just running around with your friends, smashing zombies in the face. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more Dead Island 2 content, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time.